started as a dream team freedom we done started in the basement whipping up a record giving genesis a face hey family i know it's been a while but here i am with a new video so you can tell by the title of this video i will be trying out the new pure cosmetics love your selfie foundations but also i'll be telling you a few tidbits about my experience with pure cosmetics so i got the three minis until i figure out what my shade is now some of you may know this but maybe not but i was on set for the photo shoot i did end up being one of the colors chosen so if you don't know already pure cosmetics is based in atlanta and i live here so they were looking for a bunch of people to test out their different foundation shades on and i happened to be a color that was chosen so i ordered that and then two more and i'll tell you why so if you're interested in finding out what shade i am in my little experience with pure just keep watching so i've already primed and moisturized and all of that now the shades I have here are MN2, MG1, and MG7. Now looking at the shades between back then and now, I'm sure my skin color has changed because I've been by the pool and like out at the lake and stuff. So I've gotten a little bit of a tan. So let's start with the darkest shade that I ordered, which is MG7. I ordered MG7 because this is what matched up with my different foundation shades. Looking at my Urban Decay Naked Skin and my Love Your Selfie, they seem very different and this was one of the ones that I color matched it with. I also color matched it to my L'Oreal Infallible and still I think it's a little lighter. There was my ColourPop one, but I don't have that right now. I also color matched it with that. Now one thing I did love about this foundation is, oh, they, okay. It comes with a little, well now remember I ordered the minis. The foundation comes with a, uh, the foundation comes with a pump and a doe foot. It's a little deeper, but I think I can get away with it. I actually really like this color. I will insert a screenshot of the model that they used for MG7 here. Now the next is MG1, which was my website shade. I'll put that here also. Now again, on the website, I am labeled as an MG1, which looks a little light for me right now, but honestly, I think this would have worked like a month ago. Actually, it's not that bad. Let me rub these in. Yeah, it's a little light for me right now, but it would have worked before. But that MG7 blended a lot better. That's so weird because one of my friends tried this out, and she said that her shades came out way too dark for her when she matched them to her foundation. She ordered, I think, three. Talia. Actually, I'll list Talia's video down below. Now, remember that I said MG1 was the shade they had me on the website as? Well, this is MN2, and I will insert this picture somewhere here. Also, this was the shade that I was matched with. Whoa, this is way too light. Oh, no, it's about as light as the other one. These are very, very similar, just with different undertones. Whoa, I'm dropping things. This is very similar, just different undertones, actually. One's a little more neutral, and one is a little more yellow. So this is MN2. Oh, well, I could do that, too, actually. Actually, I feel like the color they matched me to originally would have done pretty good. Actually, I think what they matched me to originally, I like better than the MG. So MN1 and MG1. And usually, since I'm yellow, that MG, I feel like, is what I would have went with. Which color do you think would have worked, would work best for me? I might mix. I think I'm going to mix MN. This blend's really good. Right, so you did hear me right. MN2 is the color that they had me on, is the color that they swatched on me at the shoot, but MG1 is the color that I'm on on the website. Looking at the colors together, it really doesn't even matter. Like, yeah, they may have used this one on me, but these colors are so similar that both colors could work for me. And actually, I think I'm gonna go with the MN2 instead of the MG1. If it's too light, I'll just um, darken it up with the MG7. So I've already primed and moisturized. So first thing I noticed for sure is I like how this smells and I love the texture on the skin. It's almost moussey, but not, and it doesn't stink. It smells very natural, which is something Pure is definitely big on. This is a little... <laughs> okay, so I've been in the sun so I'm still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be, but I think this is pretty good. I just gotta cover up my redness. Do you know what I noticed? Even not using like a sponge and just using this little doe foot, it's spreading pretty good. So if you know me, you know that I have 
dry skin and I struggle. I struggle so bad with my skin. It's actually um, been, a, been a huge reason why I've been like discouraged from filming, if I'm being honest. Mm. This shade is <laughs> light for me right now. I would need to go get color match for my summer shade. It's weird how MG7 looks so much lighter than my Urban Decay, than my Urban Decay foundation, but I feel like it swatches how it looks, how my Urban Decay looks. Okay, so don't let it sit for too long because it will start to dry out on you. And I think that is because this is promoted as a foundation, but you can use it as a concealer also. Okay, so I'm gonna take this MG7 and put it around my forehead and on my cheeks. I'm just trying to warm up what I have on my face. See, my forehead is so freckly and red-based when I'm tan or when I've gotten some sun. It's so confused. Oh man, I should have done one half with a sponge and the other half with a brush. Yeah, I'm gonna just go in with the brush now. Okay, I like it way better with a brush. I'm looking in my mirror that's right here. This definitely helped warm it up. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, so maybe I should have just used this one. MG7. I really like this color. So I am somebody with really weird skin. Like I have dry skin, but I also have huge pores. So trying to accommodate both of those things has been a huge struggle. I also don't like really heavy matte foundation, so finding stuff that works for me is hard. But I think I found it. And just because I did the photo shoot with them, that doesn't like affect my opinion on this. Like I'm not a professional model. They were just looking for real women in the area to test their products on. And they wanted obviously to get a bunch of different skin tones. Shades. I don't know if you noticed, but they came out with 100 shades when they came out with this. I'm gonna get MG1 and put it on my lid. Does my, does my skin look like plump and juicy? I'm scared because I'm really liking this. The last time I wore a full face of foundation and not just concealer, I can't even remember when. It covered my vein, but it's not covering the beauty marks on my face. This doesn't even make sense. It doesn't feel heavy on my face at all, but it's definitely covering things. Pierre, did we just become best friends? So again with the smell, it's like I smelled it when I like put it up to my face or whatever, but I don't smell it now. So I just used it to conceal under my eyes a little. And I have this huge vein above my eye that I'm sure you've seen. You can barely see it. And you can still see my beauty mark. It's only first impression. I will keep trying. I think I found something for my skin. It's hard doing stuff like this, I'm sure, as a business because most people want this matte skin. Most people want, most people have oily skin and they want it a nice matte all over look and I don't because I'm dry. But I also just don't like a heavy makeup unless it's on my eyes. What I think I'm going to do next is go to Ulta and swatch the shades that they have there. Next I'm just going to set it with this pretty vulgar setting powder. My gosh, I'm feeling a little something inside because I feel like this really, I don't ever use a lot of powder and I'm not going to today, I'm going to treat this like I treat every other foundation. And we have a lot of cleaning to do and I'll probably end up at the pool. Should I do a check-in? I don't do check-ins, but I'm like excited. Maybe I'll do a check-in. Ooh, maybe I'll do a check-in in natural light. Again, nothing to do with Pure. I paid for this by myself. The woman behind it actually. Her name's Tisha. I met her there. Other than like just the photo shoot, I don't have any like personal connections with her. I think she's awesome. I follow her on Instagram and she's done a great job with this project. I'm gonna put some brows, eyeliner, mascara, and I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I'm back. But yeah, so this is it. This is what we got going for now. So I'm really glad that I purchased these and I will check in in a few. I'm glad I did multiple instead of one big bottle of a shade and I wasn't sure. But I will do a check-in in a few hours. It is now 9.33 in the morning. I'll do a check-in around 12.30 or 1. So I am doing a check-in. It is about 12.30. Let me get into like the light. <laughs> okay, I hope you can see. I have a little bit of um, like build up here. I've been sweating and cleaning and I usually get this normally. 
but other than that, it feels good. I've had it for three hours now. We're gonna go to the pool after and I'll do another chicken, so peace. No, I'm not. So it is, what time is it? Three o'clock. So it's three o'clock. I'm at the pool. Hi. I think it looks fine. Hi. I'm a little, uh, just here, like where my glasses touch is the only place where I've had like movement. But other than that, I think it's good. It's safe to say that is the end of my check-in and I like it. Oh my gosh. Well, that's it. Have a great and blessed day. God bless. Bye.